Lesson 25, Minnesota Territorial Seal. When Minnesota became a territory in 1849, it was determined that it needed an official seal. Choosing such a seal was a chore given to territorial governor Alexander Ramsey and statesman Henry Sibley. The two considered the matter through a number of correspondences before finally deciding on what they considered an image and motto sufficient and appropriate for the new territory. The first design for a territorial seal was drafted in a Minnesota Territorial Congressional Committee. The design depicted an Indian family with a lodge, a canoe, and accessories receiving a white visitor who was accepting the pipe of peace. The idea was to symbolize the eternal friendship of the two cultures, but this depiction was rejected by the house. New images were drafted and sent to Henry Sibley. Sibley found only two that suited him. He sent the images to Alexander Ramsey for review. Between the two drawings, Ramsey selected the one that best represented the equilibrium of the Indian state to that of civilization, and noted that this equilibrium, for the present, is our more distinctive characteristic. The drawing shows an Indian on horseback, lance in hand, a man plowing, the stump of a tree with an axe sticking in it, and the falls of St. Anthony in the background along with the setting sun. As for the motto on the seal, Governor Ramsey preferred something characteristic in an eminent degree of American go ahead something suggestive of enterprise, courage, tireless industry. The two finally decided on a Latin motto which translated to, I wish to see what is beyond. It was meant to depict the thoughts of the farmer in the image.